Today we're going to read Is a Camel a Mammal by Tish Robb, illustrated by Jim Dirk. The AR quiz number for this book is 47808. I'm the cat in the hat and I'm writing a book. It's all about mammals. Come on, take a look. From the fruit eating bat to the smart chimpanzee, from the moles in their holes to the seals in the sea, from raccoons to baboons, I will show them to you. Your mother will not mind at all if I do. All mammals breathe air and are warm to the touch. Mammals grow hair, some a lot, some not much. Their hair can be soft like the fur on a kitten or the wool from a lamb you knit into a mitten. Their hair can be hard like this small hedgehog's spines or the dangerous quills on these two porcupines. Mammals live on cold mountains and hot burning sand down deep in the oceans or out on dry land. They can hop, jump, and swim, or glide high on the breeze. They can walk, run, and climb, or swing up in trees. They are full of surprises, of that I've no doubt. Is a camel a mammal? Read on and find out. The world's smallest mammal. I brought one for you. It weighs less than a dime. It's this cute pygmy shrew. What's the world's largest mammal? I knew you would ask. You can figure it out if you're up to the task. Find some elephants, each weighing 12,000 pounds. Weighing elephants is just as hard as it sounds. When you've got 27 stacked up on a scale, you'll come close to the weight of a single blue whale. This stupendous mammal lives under the sea and its baby when born weighs two tons more than me. Here's a fact about whales that I learned from the sneeches. When one jumps out of water, we say that it breaches. And speaking of babies, a hippopotamus baby, a son or a daughter, must swim right away cause it's born in water. And these bobcat kittens have soft furry paws, but hidden inside them are very sharp claws. Baby bats are called batlings, and bat moms, I hear, give birth to just one little batling each year. When a mom armandillo has babies, you'll find she has four. They're all boys or girls, just one kind. Each baby opossums the size of a bee. 18 can fit into a teaspoon, you see. Kangaroos, bandicoots, and wallabies have pouches to carry their babies with ease. Mammals come in all colors and this helps protect them. They're designed so their enemies cannot detect them. This snowshoe hair will turn white when it snows from the tips of its ears to its little pink nose. In the spring, when the snow melts, its fur turns to brown. It can hide then because it blends in with the ground. Skunks have black and white fur that warns, stop, stay away. But if someone keeps trying to get them to play, they will stamp, then let loose with a foul smelling spray. Skunks tend to lose lots of fun playmates that way. The polar bear, walrus, sea lion, and otter spend most of their time in their home in the water. A mother bear snuggles right down in her cave with her two little bear cubs who both are named Dave. They sleep through each winter. It's spring when they wake. It's called hibernation, this sleep that they take. A giraffe, cow, or bison has horns on its head. Caribou, moose, and reindeer have antlers instead. Horns stay on forever, but antlers, I hear, fall off just like thidwicks the same time each year. Some mammals eat birds, reptiles, insects, and fish, and some prefer plants as their favorite dish. Pandas eat mostly a grass called bamboo. Koalas have only one leaf that they chew. Tigers and wolves can go days without food, but it tends to put them in an unfriendly mood. 
lion, tiger, jaguar, cheetah, the biggest cats you'll ever meet. Uh. Anteaters never can find time to play. They have to eat thousands of ants every day. You may think that cheese is what mice like to eat, but they really like seeds such as corn, oats, and wheat. Carnivores love juicy meat. Herbivores like plants to eat. Omnivores, we do recall, like meat and plants, they eat it all. Now here is the question I want to ask you. Is a camel a mammal? You're right. It is true. They're the ships of the desert. They're called that, I know, because camels take people where they want to go, across hot desert sands or through cold, icy snow. With its four padded feet, it can walk without sinking and go on for days, even weeks, without drinking. Long, heavy eyelashes, nostrils that close, keep the sand out of its eyes and its nose. My book about mammals is almost complete. There are just two more mammals I want you to meet. They're right in this room. One has brown eyes, one blue. These mammals are two of my favorite. They're you. Yes, people are mammals, amazing but true. Oh, and cats in tall hats. Well, yes, we're mammals too. Glossary, breach, to leap from the water. Carnivore, an animal that eats mostly meat. Herbivore, an animal that eats mostly plants. Hibernation, a deep state of sleep during the winter. Mammal, a warm-blooded animal that has a backbone and usually fur or hair and whose babies are fed with milk from their mother's breast. Omnivore, an animal that eats both meat and plants. Pygmy, a tiny person, animal, or thing. Quill, the hollow stem of a feather, the sharp, stiff hair of a porcupine. Thanks for listening to Is a Camel a Mammal? The end. Bye-bye for now.